What have you done in a relationship that you deeply regret? Stayed too long. Giving too much, and ignored the fact I was receiving too little. Settling for someone nice instead of someone I genuinely liked, was attracted to. Edit. Wow. I didn't expect so many people to have similar stories. Big hugs to all of you. If anyone wants my story of this, he was someone I was friends with, I knew he liked me. I liked spending time with him and I confused it for liking him. I felt guilty for leading him on. And he was the nicest, sweetest guy. Inexperienced in love, but a gentle soul. He had his flaws but I'd like to think the time we spent together helped him become a better person. Everything was great on paper but zero attraction. TBH, I don't think I was attracted to any of my exes. But this particular relationship was my longest. And we were set to be married soon. That's when my anxiety kicked in. I couldn't explain it, but knew it was too important to ignore. After I ended things, I felt relief. A bit of emptiness, but mostly relief. I started up a FWB with a good friend. The spark was instantaneous. The attraction was probably already there and we just never knew it. But he blew me away. We've been dating a year now and the spark hasn't dimmed. My ex is moving on to greater things and I heard through the grapevine, he wanted to go and see, that he's got a great new job offer. I'm happy and proud of his success. I hope someday he can forgive me and be happy for mine. Being petty. If she doesn't call, why should I call? If she doesn't show any effort, why should I show effort? Etc. Instead of clearly communicating your expectations and or desires in a relationship, we made it a contest of who, won, more arguments. An obvious recipe for disaster but I only learned the lesson after it was already over. Trusting him when my gut said not to. I cheated. Four years into our relationship at 21 years old I was fed up, sad, and kissed a friend of mine at a party. I instantly regretted it. My BF didn't leave me and instead spent the next 16 plus years mentally abusing me manipulating me, and pretty much taking my life away because of that fateful night. I regret the kiss, but more than that I regret staying with that asshole for so long after two. The kiss didn't make him abuse you for 16 years, he chose to do that himself. I woke up every day and told myself I'm going to make my marriage work today. He was abusing me in every conceivable way, but I was sure that it was my fault and if I just tried hard enough, I could make it work and fix everything. I wasted way too many years with that asshole. I spent a lot of money on him that I should have saved or invested. Trying too hard to make them change their mind when they said it's over. I have never, ever begged for anything in a relationship. I'm the type that's like yep we're done here, okay cool thanks bye. The one time I actually tried to fight to save something, something I really truly believed in I was left rejected and feeling humiliated. Next time someone tells me it's over, then it's back to okay cool bye. I won't ever humiliate myself like that again. I often said sorry when I should have said foo. Or just leave. After I was sod, I fell into self-harming and being self-destructive. Hitting my head against the walls of the shower. Scratching and digging my nails into my skin till I drew blood. Tried to OD cause death seemed Ike it was the only way to make all the pain go away my GF put up with all of my shit as lovingly and kindly as she could. Took as much time as she could from work to be with me. Dealt with me not wanting to be touched or intimate at all for almost a year but I regret putting her through that. She made a lot of sacrifices for me and I will always love her for that. She kept me alive. But she shouldn't have had to do that. Idealizing them. It's one thing to think about possibilities of you and them. But to get lost in that thought without seeing the reality of the relationship is really dangerous. It made me susceptible to manipulation and abuse because in my mind, this isn't the man I was with. In my idealized version of him, he's capable of being soft and sweet. Not working harder, sooner, on my anger issues that were the worst with him. We didn't fall out love but he couldn't deal with the explosiveness anymore. I don't blame him. Blame